So to solve part A, let's begin by drawing a quick diagram of what's going on here. So the beryllium nucleus is go undergoing a decay process, which breaks it into two alpha particles, which looks a little something like this. Now, there is a separation distance between the two particles. And because they're both positively charged particles, they're going to repel one another. So we'll use Coulomb's law to figure out the force on the system. So Coulomb's law is the Coulomb constant multiplied by the charge of the first particle and multiplied by the charge of the second particle divided by the separation distance squared. Now we're told that a helium nuclei has two protons. A proton is an elementary particle, which we symbolize with the letter E. The charge of an elementary particle is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th coulombs. So now we have enough information to solve part A. So the force is equal to the Coulomb constant is approximately 8.99 times 10 to the 9th. And the charge is going to be 2 times E, which is this right here, multiplied by 2 times E. Now E, just a reminder, is this charge right here. So we can simplify this once more by simply saying 2e to the second power. And we divide it by the separation distance, which we were given here. So 5 times 10 to the minus 15th. And we'll get that the force is equal to 36.8 newtons. So this is part A. So in order to solve part B, we're going to use Newton's second law, which is for the force is equal to mass times acceleration. So we know what the force is. We were told we found that the force was 36.8 newtons. We know the mass, and we're given that the mass is 4.8 zero zero two six atomic mass units that's what this letter u stands for it's the atomic mass unit now this is not in standard units we need to convert this to kilograms so the conversion factor is this right here so now what we're going to do is solve for a so we, we divide by m and then we get the acceleration is equal to 36.8 divided by 6.6 .6 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms. And this is Newton's on top. We get that the acceleration is 5.54 times 10 to the 27th meters per second squared. And this makes sense because these particles should be traveling extremely fast. So this number is consistent to what we would find experimentally.